Okay, starting this week, we're going to start looking at some quadratic equations that um, have real number solutions, but they are not rational numbers. Um, in other words, they're going to be quadratic equations that we cannot solve by factoring. Um, the quadratic expressions that we end up with cannot be factored. Um, and that will also lead into quadratic functions whose graphs have x-intercepts that are not rational numbers. So to start this off, we're first going to look at simplifying radical expressions, um, square roots that do not come out evenly. And we're going to look at two different methods for solving, um, for simplifying these. The first one, the first method we're going to look at is using perfect squares. And the perfect squares are just that. They're the squares of the integers. So, for example, if we were to list the perfect squares, 1 squared is 1. Two squared is four, three squared is nine, and so on. Sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, eighty-one, one hundred, and so on. Okay. So to simplify these, what we're basically looking for are these values that go evenly into a number. And we're going to use, um, we talked about this with square with absolute values, but we're also going to use the property that says if the square root of a times b exists, then the square root of that product is the same as the square root of a times the square root of b. So the square root of product is the same as the product of the individual square root. So we're going to use that fact. Now, um, in these, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the number underneath the radical symbol. In this case, it's 40. And we're looking for one of those perfect squares that goes evenly into that. Well, the perfect square that goes into 40 is 4. So the square root of 40 is 4 times 10. Okay. And using this property right here, we can rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 10, which is equal to square root of 4 is 2 square root of 10 and that is a simplified form of 40 because none of those perfect squares go into 10. Doing the same thing with 12, um, the perfect square that goes into 12 evenly is 4 once again and 12 is 4 times 3. So that's going to be equal to square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And once again, the square root of 4 is 2. So that's 2 square root of 3. Now, the tricky thing about this method is the fact that sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find the largest perfect square that goes into a number. For example, with 80, okay, most people say, well, 4 goes into 80, so that's the square root of 4 times the square root of 20, which is 2 square root of 20, and then they tend to stop there, which that is not simplified as much as it, it can be a radical expression is simplified as far as it can be as long as what's left underneath the radical has no perfect squares left, um, no perfect square factors left in it. So um, the perfect square that actually the largest one that goes into 80 is 16. And 16 actually 
goes into 80 five times. So that is 4 times the square root of 5. That's the actual correct simplification of that. Now, let's say you started with the 4. You could continue going and keep going with that 20. 20 is 4 times 5. Okay. Square root of 4, once again, is 2. So that's 2 times 2 times the square root of 5, which is 4 square root of 5. So sometimes that's a little tricky, and sometimes you need to do that more than once. Um, the largest perfect square that goes into 288 is actually 144. And that's times 2. So that is 12 square root of 2 for that one. And again, for example, if you didn't see that that was 12 right away, um, you could have started with 4. That's square root of 4 times square root of 72. So that's 2 square root of 72. And 72, um, largest perfect square that goes into 72 is 36. And the square root of 36 is 6 times 2 is 12 square root of 2. So sometimes you got to do it more than once. Um, in the next video, I will show you a second method <coughs> excuse me, that you can use to simplify these radical expressions. And um, it's one that I prefer, especially for larger ones like 80 and 288. But I will show you that method in the next video, and you can use whichever method you prefer.